I'm Ben Cartford. I'm a senior here at Force Lake. Okay, so hello. My name is Kajang Bu. Hi, my name is Kiana. Hello, uh, I'm Cole, and I'm a senior this year. Hi, my name is Emily Duranka. I'm a senior at Force Lake Area Senior High. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm a senior at Force Lake High School. Hi, I'm Allie Witzman. I'm 18. I'm a senior at Forest Lake Area High School. I'm going to attend the Savannah College of Art and Design for 2D cell animation and storyboard art. Next year, I am planning on attending St. Catherine University, St. Paul. Next year, I'm going to be attending Alexandria Tech for law enforcement. On a side job, I'm in the Army National Guard. I did apply and I was accepted to Luther and Gustavus. I wanted to go to Northwestern just because I feel like it's the best school, it's the best fit for me. Carleton is my top school. It has a good price and it's in Minnesota, so I don't want to go too far away. I plan on going to Pine Tech for their CNC programming. Next year, I plan to attend Columbia College in Chicago. So the major I'm thinking I'm going to pursue right now is biology, just because last year I took a really fun AP bio class and that kind of sparked um, how much I like biology. I also really like philosophy and like political science. Thinking I'm gonna like a liberal arts school just because then I can combine more academic subjects. I really wanna go into medicine, so I'm planning on majoring in chemistry. Also really wanna double major, so my other major that I'm planning on doing is critical studies of race and ethnicity. I'm very passionate about science because of the teachers here at Forest Lake, so I took a lot of AP science courses here. Because of those science courses, I decided to pursue science, and then using science to help people, which resulted in medicine. I am going to University of Northwestern, St. Paul, and I am going to double major in music. My first major is gonna be violin performance, and my second major is gonna be music composition. After schooling, I think I'm going to pursue a career in CNC, basically. There's one main company that I focus on, and that's Team Vantage right now, and they have a lot of opportunities to work there over the summer and I'm even working there right now. When I attend Columbia in the fall, which I've committed to, I plan to study film production. They have a program to study in England and to produce a documentary. So I'm hoping to do that either my junior or senior year and then spend a semester in LA at their campus there. I've always o really been into art and I always loved cartoons and I love drawing. Through our school's career exploration, I got to meet a few uh, Disney animators and they really just showed me how much animation can like influence people. I want to influence kids the way um, my favorite cartoons did for me when I was younger. I really look up to different animators like Craig McCracken and Rebecca Sugar and all those people and I really want to be like them one day. So it's been, yeah, a childhood dream. Career day, I actually hosted all the police officers that came here. We have the opportunity you can talk to the police officer here that works down in the office. And she gave me helpful hints about Alexandria Tech, what they do there, and it really was an interest to me. Got more of a learning lesson of what they actually do instead of what I thought they did, like pulling people over. Good to have somebody that was already in that field of work. I got more knowledge on how the education part of it works. For the National Guard, we always have recruiters that come here, and I really took advantage of that. It was one of the best choices I've made as a junior here in this school. I've toured um, all the schools that I'm considering and applied to. I really liked the student body at Grinnell and Carleton. They seem like they're a lot like me, and they're really passionate about their academics. So I think those are people I could fit in with. By attending one of our career day opportunities, it brought personal insight of like what their company is and the company was Team Vantage again. So that really set what I wanted to do. My older sister actually goes to St. Catherine University. I'm not just going there because she goes there, but we are very similar in our values towards what we look for in a college. I didn't imagine myself going to school with my sister, but I guess here we are. I went to a program called First Step. It was driven to empower women of color at St. Kate's. We got to learn a lot about the college experience. I would love to be part of a professional orchestra. I don't know if I'd ever make it, but I'd love to be part of Minnesota Orchestra. That would just be amazing. I also want to be a composer. I have already composed two pieces. I could 
go into the film industry or I could do it for like orchestras and like for schools. I want to stay in Minnesota because I'm in the Minnesota National Guard and it's one of the best National Guards in the, the whole country. My civilian side of the job be a police officer. That's what I love to do and I love helping people out. It's going to be a shot that I take and I'm going to love it for the rest of my life. Work in environmental conservation with other academic subjects as well like political science and philosophy. I'll be able to better apply myself in the biological field and know where to put the knowledge that I gain at the college. I hope to like someday have my own cartoon series or if not I want to be working on one of my favorites that's still around today or making like Pixar movies that would be really cool. Scholarships are important. A lot of them are very small. They all can add up and make a really big difference. They can make or break a college career. It helps you um, go to a new chapter in life and complete that goal, that mission. And without that kind of help from outside aid, like we wouldn't be able to pay for it and you'd be in debt for the rest of your life. So. It helps you become what you want to do. It helps your future grow in ways that you can't if you don't have them. It would also be like a motivational factor as in like there's people that support you in pursuing your goals and dreams. Scholarships are amazing because um, I'm traveling out of state and it's really, really expensive to leave everything here and then basically start a new life in a completely different state that I've never been to before. I've tried to do everything I can to reduce my cost for college. Lots of writing essays, um, lots of applying, and um, hopefully it'll pay off. I have actually applied to a lot of scholarships throughout the year. I've done lots with uh, women in STEM careers because of me majoring in chemistry. I've done some scholarships where they are specifically focused for women, specifically focused for Asian people. For me, it's just a great way for people to go to college, work hard, make their dream come true. It's somebody that you never met before that is willing to invest in your future. So that's what I think is so cool about scholarships. One concern I have is cooking for myself because my mom will often cook for me and that's been really nice. But if I'm you know, in Iowa or a couple hours away, I'll definitely have to learn how to cook good food. I would say that I'm very nervous about how I'm going to live on campus by myself without my family. Being independent is a really big thing that I'm worried for, but I'm also excited to be independent and make choices for myself. I'm mostly excited, but there is definitely concerns. I'm just afraid that I'm like not gonna have any friends and I'll be like talking to inanimate objects like Wilson because I won't, I won't, <laughs> going to a completely new state is so scary because I won't know anybody. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only kid leaving the mid Midwest here. Pretty much excited about the whole working, schooling, and future opportunities that I have, but I'm nervous about like that whole balance of time management. It's a little bit of both. Um, it's a excitement, and at the same time, it's just like, how am I gonna approach the next step of life? Because it's something I wanna love to do. And I'm so excited. Like, it's gonna be so great. <laughs> I can practice violin all the time. It's like, and I can do music theory classes. And because of PSEO, I I'm able to do that. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. It means a lot to me, and it's going to mean a lot to every student that will ever apply for this scholarship. Thank you for supporting our students. Thank you for supporting my future goals and ambitions. Thank you for investing in the dreams of our students. Thank you for giving our students a chance. Thank you for being willing to be generous and invest in our dreams and make them come true. Thank you.